Elite Dangerous is a, a fantastic game which spans back over pretty much four decades now. It's a massively multiplayer game in its current iteration uh, where you get to become a, a space pilot and, and fly around the Milky Way and, and that Milky Way is, is represented one to one. It's a fantastic technical achievement. With Odyssey, it's the development of everything that was cool and great and unique about the original game but taken forward and with a new dimension added and that new dimension is that you, you are now able to traverse this environment on foot. The first time even that you get out and you actually see your ship in front of you and you understand how massive these ships actually are is kind of awe-inspiring. It's actually really quite dangerous, you know, you are millimetres away from the vacuum or, or from a, a thin atmosphere that could kill you in an instant. So the idea that you were enclosed in this suit and you could hear your own breathing was a really important part of the experience as far as we were concerned. One of the key things I really wanted to push was the idea that you'd kind of get that Neil Armstrong moment when you actually set foot on a planet for the first time. It had to have a, a slight emotional resonance to it. It had to feel like you were literally touching the ground for the first time. It's some, something we've hinted at with the ships, but now you can really do it. Exploration's always been a huge part of Elite. What's new is the fact that for the first time we'd be able to visit planets with light atmospheres. We have all the, the data for these worlds that we create. Which planets have what types of atmospheres, their surface pressures, composition, their temperature. Now we get to recreate it for you to explore. We're really striving to make our, our planets look fantastic from a, an on-foot perspective where you can get much, much closer to them. This is both with new rocky planets and new ice worlds, which look absolutely incredible. Worlds heavy in ice will end up with ice world-specific formations. You'll end up with uh, Linne, palimpsests, uh, cryovolcanism on um, worlds which are more rocky. You will end up with your mountains, your canyons, your ridges, your seas, basins like on the moon. The rocky planets have been upgraded to the point where now the, even the distant view looks so different. You're getting details that were never there before. Another exciting element uh, of these new planets and these new terrains which the uh, light atmosphere affords are, are some more vegetation, some more flora. The flora that we're producing, we've been really uh, interested in making sure that they feel like convergent life, so that they're recognisable to us um, as different genuses and species, but they are also quite alien in themselves. We want them to be plausible though. The first time a player encounters one of these new organic life forms, they'll be able to sample it and extract genetic data from that organic life form. They can then log that in their codec, but also take back some of that genetic information as data and then trade that for rewards back at starports and planet ports. Elite has always had a, a great heritage in, in allowing people to explore and, and rewarding them for finding things. And obviously we're going to continue that on foot. So we've got um, billions and billions of planets out there and we're really wanting our community to engage, go into the black, set foot on new planets, get that moment where they are the first to set foot there and be able to report that back in. Exploration in particular, I think, generates those kind of magical moments where it's very, very difficult to, to, to get anything close to that, um, playing anything else. It's something that's really unique to Elite. I think what Odyssey really represents for, for our players is the fulfilment of the promise that we made right at the very start of Elite, that, that we would finally allow people to get out of their ships and walk on, on planetary surfaces. We have the full scale, you can fly from one end of the galaxy to the other and now you can land on, on some of the planets and explore them on foot.